Rafael Verani expected to leave Manchester United at end of the season with preferred destination revealed. Rafael Verani is set to leave Manchester United next summer with a January exit not currently under consideration. The World Cup winner formed a formidable partnership alongside Lisandro Martinez at Old Trafford last season but has fallen down the pecking order this term. Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans has been the preferred partnership with Martinez ruled out, with Verani starting just one of United's last eight games. Even with Evans ruled out in the win over Luton Town ahead of the international break, Victor Lindelof was preferred at the heart of defence with Eric Ten Hag reluctant to play Maguire and Verani together. The former France international has been linked with a January move away with Bayern Munich considering a bid. But according to The Sun, Eric Ten Hag will not sanction a mid-season exit. His long-term future is less certain however with the report claiming Barony is interested in a move to Italy or Saudi Arabia at the end of the season. Ten Hag has insisted there has been no falling out between him and the player, with tactical reasons and Maguire's return to form causing him to lose his regular place in the side. Absolutely not, Ten Hag said earlier this month when asked if there was a wider issue between him and Verani. As I said, it is about tactical reasons why I chose these partnerships. I think Harry and Johnny did well. What I said last year, Harry didn't play a lot, so I was very happy with Rafa's performances. I have always been happy with his performance. But in this moment, Harry is playing very well and there is internal competition. He continued, there are moments in certain games where they, Maguire and Verani, can play together and they have already proven they can do it. But the build-up is not that fluid when one of them is playing from the left centre-back position. Because I think Licha, obviously, Luke Shaw, obviously, Johnny Evans and Victor Lindelof are right-footed, but they can play really comfortably with their left and make the right angles. Then you can construct a better formation where you can start to play. Juventus make contact with Manchester United over Jadon Sancho transfer. Jadon Sancho has been strongly linked with a move away from Manchester United ever since he was banished from first team duties. It has been suggested since then that Serie A giants Juventus would be interested in the England winger. With Sancho no closer to a return at United and yet to apologize to Eric Ten Hag after his public outburst on X, formerly known as Twitter, reports are beginning to circulate about where he could be moving next. Italian journalist Rudy Galletti has now revealed that Juventus are in contact with United regarding a move for Sancho. Sancho needs to leave United to resurrect his career and get back to playing regular football. A move to Juventus would be an interesting move for him and one he'd be lucky to secure because I'm amazed that any of Europe's biggest clubs are willing to take a chance on him. However, Juventus' interest stems around a loan proposal and United need to try get him off the books completely. That may prove to be a struggle in January. Sir Jim Ratcliffe frustrated by delays for Manchester United deal. Sir Jim Ratcliffe's proposed deal to buy a 25% stake at Manchester United was scheduled to be announced during the international break, but a setback could mean the Ineos founder will have to wait until next week. This could make for fears over planning for the January transfer window if this setback is met by further setbacks, as Ratcliffe awaits approval from the Premier League for his bid to become a minority shareholder at his boyhood club. The Telegraph claims frustrations have grown at the delay, with fears that the club's January transfer plans could be binned because it's not like fans are expecting the Glazer family to invest anytime soon. It is stated that Ratcliffe hoped to have secured his deal by now, but there are no guarantees it will be sealed before the end of the international break. A deal will see Ineos take control of United's sporting operations. Fans will hope that Ratcliffe means the beginning of the end for the Glazer family at United. However, Ratcliffe may have to wait until after United take on Everton at Goodison Park before he can get to work at Old Trafford. Premier League ratification could take a further six to eight weeks, which explains why there are fears over the transfer market.
Everton fans planned protest ahead of Manchester United fixture. An Everton fan group has announced its plans to protest the points deduction their club has suffered during Sunday's Premier League meeting with Manchester United. Everton became just the third club in Premier League history to be docked points last Friday after being found guilty of breaching profitability and sustainability rules. In turn, Bruno Fernandes believes this will make United's trip to Goodison Park more difficult than usual, since Everton will be looking for a response after having 10 points docked. It puts them in the relegation zone, despite sitting mid-table prior to that. Toffees fans are upset at the news and understandably so, while Man City sit there with 115 charges having over their name. Fan group the 1878s are encouraging fans to use flags, banners and specially produced cards during the match at Goodison Park to make their point to the powers that exist at the Premier League. Furthermore, there is a plan in place to fly a plane with a message over the Etihad Stadium on Saturday during their clash with Liverpool. The 1878s have raised over £40,000 at the time of publication to fund their protests against the verdict of an independent commission.